Welcome to Yokohama. Japan's historically prominent port city has functioned as a vital hub of international commerce since the 19th century. A unique maritime character and worldly nature are entrenched in this place's DNA and it can be seen in the essence of the town's aptly named club, Yokohama F. Marinos. Yokohama F Marinos take their name from a merger with former club Yokohama Flugels and the Spanish word for sailor. And this Bayside club are proud of their status as one of the only two of the J League's original 10 to have never been relegated. Marinos' first dozen years in the J League were smooth sailing, established them as a J1 heavyweight. They claimed a trio of league titles and finished in the top three on a further three occasions. The club's victory role also included triumphs in the J League Cup and Emperor's Cup with the likes of Yoshikatsu Kawaguchi, Shinzuke Nakamura and the late Naoki Matsuda all starring by the seaside. However, after 2004 the club would experience a fall from the summit going the next 8 years with no trophies and plenty of heartbreak before the Emperor's Cup was finally claimed in 2013. That year saw Marinos down J1 champion Sanfrecce Hiroshima in the final but league success would take slightly longer to recapture. Marinos would have to wait a full 15 years before the J1 crown returned to Yokohama when Australian manager Ange Postikoglu delivered a fourth league title in 2019. Postikoglu's possession-based, attack-minded football enabled the likes of Marcus Jr., Tiratan Bumatan and that year's player of the year Terahito Nakagawa to thrive. And the Marinos secured the title with a dramatic final day victory against their closest challengers, FC Tokyo. Since then, Postikoglu has left for Celtic and taken last season's good top scorer, Dayazen Mayada, with him. But plenty of key figures remain in Yokohama to play under Ange's fellow Aussie, Kevin Muscat. Last season saw Marinos put up the league's most impressive goal tally, scoring 82 times in 38 matches. With that high octane attack leading the way, anything is possible. Very much re-established as one of the big boys, it would be no surprise to see Marinos bringing more silverware to Yokohama in the coming years. Like, subscribe, push notification.